Oh, my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Sagittarians and it's for the month of November, a little bit over 2024, for every Sagittarian. Welcome, my dear viewers. Thank you all for being here. Let us begin with this reading. This reading is about every area of your life, my dear Sag. Every area that needs to be touched, talked about, dealt with, information that's hidden from you, information that you need to know, and everything. So it's about every area of your life. It's not one specific area. So let us begin with the most important factors. Thank you all again for being here. Starting with the first important factor for all Sagittarius. And we've got the catalyst. The catalyst is all about radical changes and taking control. Taking control of situations. Taking control of your life. Radical change. Not a small one. A major change. A radical change and you taking control what else the thief this is about seizing the moment and being a little bit selfish selfishness is needed now you've got to think about yourself and do what is right for you and take advantage of the moment this is the time for you to take advantage of so the heavens are with you supporting you with all this and that's what this is all about now let's take two more messages for all Sagittarius for November and a little bit over the truth starting with the first one it says energy you are going to be energized and the fire spirit is your um fi you are fire energy my dear Sagittarius so you are going to be in your power you are going to be supported so much and I feel like you're transcending to high levels and finally achieving your freedom freedom what you love my dear Sag you're going to be getting that very soon you are going to be empowered and more Refuge, you are going to find the home, the place where it gives you peace, harmony, protection and safety and haven, a place where you can feel comfortable, loved and freedom again and heal, a place where you can heal, my dear Sagittarius. Wow, this is amazing. Very deep. Mm, very interesting. Okay, let's have a look at two more messages for all Sagittarians. November, a little bit over. We'll take the first one. And we've got... Grieving the loss of. Five of Cups grieving the loss of someone. This also came for Scorpio. For those of you who are Scorpio, um, Cuspy, Scorpio, Sagittarius, there is grieving the loss of someone leaving. Mm, let's have a look. Next important factor for all Sagittarians. Working hard and your work is going to be recognized. Hard work is going to be paying off big time. A lot of profits, money owing to you, but... In the process of this work, you have to be very careful because there are situations to do with money, selling, buying, um, contracts, dealing with contracts, dealing with lawyers and accountants, conveyances, there may be documentation needed, dealing with government matters. You need to be very vigilant and pay attention to detail so that there won't be any mistakes. But there is money owing to you coming to you. So that's really great news. Okay. Now let's move on to the next level. And the next level is this deck here. Two messages for all Sagittarians. The truth. November and a little bit over. Here we go. We have the ha Oh, this is really sad. The Three of Swords. Painful, truthful pain. This is the ending of a separation, ending of a chapter. Maybe a betrayal or painful, hurtful words or an absolute ending. Maybe that's why you are grieving the loss of someone because there is something that's really ending. November onwards for all Sagittarians. Let's have a look the truth. And we have the devil. The devil is all about temptation and something that is being done a little bit too much, too excessive. Maybe control. It needs control. Maybe too much control. Maybe something just a little bit too much which you need to heal from and bring order and bring discipline into it so that you can control it. It's a little bit out of control. Let's take four more messages for all the Sagittarians. Whoa, something has opened up. And the Sagittarius card, the Queen of Wands. There's someone that might have Sagittarius in them. Someone wonderful that's going to be very supportive. Let's see. We're going to take three more messages for all Sagittarians. Okay, we have the Tower. Something is falling apart. Something is ending. That's why you've got this, my dear Sag. That's why you're grieving the loss of someone. There's separation. There could be grieving the loss of and separation together. So the Tower... This is showing like there is something or someone being removed from your life completely and utterly. Someone being removed. So um, this is what you are grieving the loss of. 
Perhaps, not perhaps, I'm positive it's that. So um, there is a reason for that. It, it, it looks like it was a very painful chapter. Or you were overwhelmed, there was too much. You've taken on too much responsibility and you had to be helped. And the only way that the heavens could help you was to remove someone from your life and put uh, a little bit of peace in your life. You are going to get a lot of rewards and a lot of expansion for all that you've done. Major rewards coming your way. And what you don't see happening, there is a fire energy coming in your life. And nine of cups, your wishes and dreams. So the fire energy that I saw here, it shows again, someone of fire energy is coming. This could be Sagittarius possibly but we'll find out at the end of the reading to see what the sign is and a lot of your dreams and wishes the nine of cups is the dream and wish card your dreams are becoming alive and coming to you that's what you don't see happening a lot of your dreams are going to be fulfilled so that's great news let's take three more messages for all sagittarians november a little bit over and we have action you are going to be able to take action you are able to travel, you are able to move, you are able to take action and do what you want to do where you were not able to before. So maybe the towers making this possible. Could it be the towers giving you that right? Yes, an area of your life you're defeated. There's nothing. It's a no-win situation. No matter what you do, there's no winning. This probably is coming to an absolute end. Sleepless nights, guilt, anxiety, unhappiness, all that ends. All of it comes to an end and you get to rest you get to rest from a big major battle. The end of being restricted, unhappy, um, not being able to live the life you want. All that comes to an end. You're finally able to move. You're able to move and take action. That was taking action all about moving and being able to move. Okay, so that's wonderful. So that's all great. Let's take two more messages from this deck for all Sagittarius November. Starting with the first one, and we have the crown. Overcoming obstacles, there it is, overcoming obstacles and moving forward. Power play, being in power and wealth is coming to you, money. It looks to me like you are going to be your own boss, you are going to be in control of your life, you are going to be um, taking charge of situations, being in total control. Wow, mm, absolutely amazing. And making progress, overcoming wealth and making pro progress. I just wanted to see the catalyst again. I feel like this was yeah, taking control. This radical change is helping you take absolute control of situations you were not able, even of your own life, you were not able to take. You're able to take action now. You're able to move now. This is just incredible. This shows to me that it's as though the tower is removing a situation where you were stuck, where you were unhappy, where you were not able to move the way you want. You were not able to live the way you wanted. That has been removed. And now you're able to take action. You're able to take control of everything. And that is spectacular. Quite spectacular. Okay, let's have a look at the second one. And wealth is coming with the crown. So on top of that, we've got wealth. For all Sagittarians, the spiral is things going out of control, but you're climbing the ladder upward trend. So things are going ranking up for you. There's promotions, there's connections. Some of you could be even revisiting a job you used to do in the past. So that's also a possibility. But don't forget, dreams are coming true, wishes coming true with the Nine of Cups. Don't forget that. Now, let's take a few more messages from this for all Sagittarians. Right, it says chemistry. There's strong magnetic attraction between you and someone. Strong magnetic attraction. One more for all Sagittarians. And it says here, trust, have faith in a situation. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust in a situation. Very important. Okay. Let's see if there is any special message for all Sagittarians for November. Wow, it's a beautiful card, this card. It says trust. Oh, wow, it's exactly like this one. Isn't that amazing? Trust. Let me just put my glasses on so I can read this for you. Trust. It says transformations occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So just accepting uh, situations you need to have trust and faith at the end of the day you are going to be taking control and everything is going to be in your favor so you don't have to worry it's all going to be great and your wishes are being fulfilled so now I'm going to clarify some of the cards before we move on to the next level and then the next level and so forth so 
um, having a look at uh, important factors, which is taking action. How is it that you're able to take action now where you would what you were not able before? Is there some of the fire, fire energy entering your life? Because we've got fire all over the place. The Knight of Wands, let's see. You are resting from a big battle, and that's what the tower is all about. So the tower is removing someone from your life. A situation is being removed, and you are get, getting to rest from a big battle. You are in a big battle, and you're finally resting. So the reason this is happening is you're able to move and leave a situation, even though it's sad, but you're leaving. Even though you'll be grieving the loss, but you're leaving. This is now being able to take action. You were not able to leave. You'll be able to leave as soon as this is removed in your life, from your life. So that's what the tower is all about. That is wonderful. And that's what the night of, the night, there's only one challenge left. It'll be over. One more challenge and completely comes to an end. You'll be able to, to move. I'll just remove this here. So we were talking about the tower and there's one more challenge and then resting from a big, and we were talking about being able to take action, where you are now able to take action when the tower happens, when the crisis and this removal of someone from your life gets happening, gets done, you are going to be grieving the loss, but it will be over. Some of you are separating. Let's have a look at the Three of Swords. Yes. Wow. There it is again. Leaving, taking action. And there's going to be a soulmate coming, which is really wonderful. Someone wonderful is coming in your life. As soon as this action you're taking, there's someone incredible coming in your life. So prepare for that. Wow. That's incredible. Okay. That explains that. Now let's move on to the, the grieving. Let's see what is this um, anxiety and unhappiness. What is that for all Sagittarians? Right. Because of leaving, you have been sacrificing a lot. The sacrifice comes to an end. You're finally leaving a very troubled area in your life, a situation that was overwhelming. One more challenge and you're going. There's too much trouble. You're just going and leaving. There is going to be a rebirth, a new way of life for you. A new wonderful life awaits you. Let's have a look at the three of wands for everyone, for every Sagittarian. Right. And this three of wands is about rewards and expansion. Um, the truth and clarity. Finally, you're leaving a situation where you were constantly feeling guilty, unhappy. That all comes to an end. You're finally able to move forward. And this could have been in connection to someone of air energy. Aquarius being number one, then um, Libra or um, Gemini. So I feel like an area of your life is coming to an end. And you are destined for a, re a start over, a new way of life. Let's have a look at the Queen of... Um, the Queen of Sagittarius, the Queen of Fire, of Wands for all Sagittarians, because I see that as Sagittarian. A very nurturing, beautiful power uh, enters your life. A very wonderful energy that gives you abundance and releases you from a very unhappy situation. A very an area of your life where you were defeated and there was nothing you could do. There's abundance coming and a lot of nurturing, and with that nurturing, perhaps comes a Sagittarius. Wow, possibly. Yes, because they're saying a little bit of patience, and I was talking about this. You see, the Queen of Wands. Sometimes I see the, Quan, the Queen of Wands as Sagittarius, and this is uh, temperance, is this representation of Sagittarius. So they're saying a little bit of patience, and there will be some, you will be given someone wonderful in your life, and they could have Sagittarius in them, like yourself. Let's have a look at the Devil, and what the Devil is all about for all Sagittarians. It says, once this is over, this excessive control that you are going to heal from, something that was too controlling in your life, you are going to have a life of happiness, a life of abundance, a life of wealth. Remember they said wealth? You'll have wealth, you'll have happiness, you'll have um, a lot of your wishes and dreams coming true, um, living a life of wealth and luxury, all that is destined for you. My dear Sagittarius, so much is destined for you. So much pleasure, so much happiness. And I also feel like there's one more thing that I'm trying to say. Ah, oh, being able to take action that you weren't able before, uh, but mostly about this. You remember I said to you, hard work and money is coming to you. Big amounts of money is coming, and you need to pay attention to detail. Well, the money is coming, and it looks like you could be buying property because the Ten of Cups could be buying your business, buying a property, something you want. Money that's owing to you is coming, and you've got to be calculating well, looking at everything, because it looks to me like you are going to be going through um, a stage where you are going to be abundant. There's going to be a lot of wealth coming in your way, and you're going to know how, you've got to know how to deal with it and what kind of 
uh, support you need, what kind of financial advisors you might need in order to put this money together, in order to be able to process this money, in order to know that you don't make any mistakes when you're signing documentation. There is a lot of wealth that's changing your life, my dear Sagittarius, but you have to have access to proper and insightful information to be able to proceed with this money without it being complicated, without you losing in the process. So be careful when you're signing documents. Um, try to get all the information that you can to get all the support that you truly deserve. Because I do feel like um, this is a time where they're saying seize the moment. This is the time to take advantage of the moment. Be a little bit selfish when this money comes. Don't just go throwing it away and giving it away like I have in my past. <laughs> Don't do that. Try to sort of hold on to it and put it in somewhere where it's really reasonable and try to be a little bit selfish. That's what they're trying to say. Seize the moment. There's a lot of wealth coming your way and um, try to be a little bit selfish this time. Try to keep some money for yourself. Don't go helping everybody and leave yourself without. So that's my advice. That's the heaven's advice. And and that's that one there. Now, that explains that. And finally, there it is, unexpected money again, the gift from the heavens. And then, of course, there is that fire energy. Someone of fire energy is entering your life without a doubt. But look at that. Look at that. That, that is amazing. That is incredible. On top of wealth. Okay, so don't forget the wealth. We've got the wealth, and then we've got the Ace of Cups, which is the greatest gift from the heavens, which shows that you can live a life of wealth and luxury. Absolute wealth, absolute luxury, it's incredible, absolutely magical, shocking, in fact. So that again and again. Finally, what I'd like to know is the um, the Eight of... Was it the Eight of... Yeah, I wanted to know about the Eight of uh, Pentacles. What can they tell us about the Eight of Pentacles? Right, you are going to be empowered. Look at that. You are going to be empowered, and there's a lot of wealth coming your way. Again, we have the Ten of Cups, which is fulfillment and happiness and dreams come true. We have the Nine of Pentacles, wealth and abundance and living a life of wealth and luxury. Now, you are going to be empowered. It tells us that nobody can take your money. You are protected. By the magician so um, even though I said be careful when you're signing documents the heavens are going to be with you you are supported big time no, no one can take your money away from you and there's a lot of it and there's the gift this is the gift from the heavens my dear Sagittarius so you are going to be empowered big time nothing can stand in your way heavenly gifts for you yours alone and um, with a lot of protection with extraordinary amounts of protection that we have the Empress, yes, you've got the Empress here. So when you have the Empress, that shows a divine power is with you. And this divine power protects you, nurtures you, and gives you abundance in every area without anyone being able to touch you. And that's what refuge is all about. You are protected. You are empowered and protected. That is incredible, amazing energies. Wow, absolutely amazing. Right, now that we have everything, and there could be a business there too, We'll find out the star sign combination of the people that you are dealing with, consumed with, um, grieving the loss of in November, everything, all the people that you are, and who's coming in your life. The chemistry that's happening here, let's see who this person is. Uh, the fire energy that's coming, you got fire energy all over the place, right? Fire energy. You have got air energy, one air energy there too. Let's see. Well, who are the star sign combination of the people that all um, Sagittarius are dealing with? Okay, so the first one, we've got Leo. Sun is the rule of Leo. Then we've got Venus and Libra. So we've got Libra and we've got Venus, which is the ruler of Libra Taurus. Star sign combination. Let's have a look. Oh, Sagittarians. And there they are. We've got Uranus, Aquarius. That's the air energy I was talking about. This one here, where you, you'll be leaving this chapter, this air energy, you're leaving this air energy behind. Water energy, Scorpio, we'll put it over here. Okay, I'll just do them like that so we know what's going on. Okay, so we've got Libra, Venus, Taurus, that's Earth, and we've got Fire. We've got Aquarius, and we've got Pluto, Water. Star sign combination of all Aquarians, who Aquarians are dealing with. We've got the Moon, Cancer, sits next to the Scorpio. Let's see what else we got. And then I'll go through them. Once I get them all, I'll go. Okay, we've got the Cancer, which is doubled. And then we've got Virgo, which sits next to the Taurus. Let's see what else. Here we go. We've got another Sagittarius. Beautiful fire energy. Sits next to the Sun. 
And I'll take one or two more. There's a two people here. Oh, that's too many. Way too many, but I have no choice but to take them. So the air energy, we've got Gemini also. We've got Virgo twice. We've got Aries, Gemini. We've got Cancer three times and Scorpio twice. Okay, so there's a lot of water energy in your life. Um, my dear... Where is it? Um, Scorpio. Here we go. Uh, my dear Sagittarius, you've got a lot of water energy. Now, fire goes here, and Gemini air goes here. What is this one? Uranus air. Okay. So, we've got a lot of water energy, and we're talking about Scorpio, and we're talking about Cancer. Cancer is the one that's ruling here. Cancer is the strongest. So, you must be dealing with someone that has very strong Cancer in them. Right. Fire and water go beautiful together. Why I say that is because Cancer being water energy, they're very nurturing. You're very nurturing, my dear Sagittarius, so you go beautiful together. Unless there might be another air energy, like there might be a Gemini in this story, or there might be um, a fire energy, like Aries, in the story. If it's Aries that you are dealing with that might be with Cancer, they might have Cancer, or they might have Libra, or they might have Gemini, then there may be a little bit of turbulence. Whenever fire, air sits together, it doesn't work well. If you're dealing with cancer alone, you will do well because you replenish each other, which is fantastic. You've got very strong cancer here. If you're dealing with Scorpio, that's wonderful too because water and fire go well together. If you're dealing with Earth, Taurus, especially if you are dealing with Virgo, you'll be doing spectacular. There might be a new Virgo coming in your life. Um, earth energy, Virgo, very strong. There is, however, one more person here, which is Libra. This person is uh, Taurus Libra. This Taurus Libra could be someone that's entering your life. You could be already dealing with someone that is Taurus Libra. Aries, for example, there is a possibility. The earth energy is the one that's going to be spectacular for you if you're dealing with earth. Fire energy, the ones that are going to go beautiful with you is the Leo and the Sagittarius. Leo and Sagittarius are going to be spectacular. I feel like it's going to be someone like yourself, Sagittarius. They could be Leo. They could be also Aries. I do feel like fire goes beautiful with you as long as there is Earth. So we have Virgo doubled up, which shows that there is an Earth energy entering your life. If you have already met this person and they've got fire and Earth, then the chemistry has already started. If you haven't met this person yet, you are to meet them. When you meet this person, they've got Virgo in them. They might even have Libra, um, Taurus in them, which will give them ground. Libra is okay to go with Sagittarius if there is Earth energy, whether it's going to be Virgo, the Earth energy, or the Taurus, it's going to be spectacular. If it's someone that is Taurus, Libra, they go well. There's a lot of love, sensuality, connection. If there is air energies here, air doesn't go with um, at all with Sagittarius. So what I feel is with air, Gemini, Uranus, I feel like these are leaving. This is the person that is leaving your life. The person that's leaving could be air and water, possibly, or air and fire. Fire is very hard for them to leave because you connect well together, unless they are a fire energy that might have water in them, like Cancer. If you have fire and Cancer, say you have Aries and Cancer, it's someone that's turbulent, it's someone that you have struggled with and you've gone through a lot with and have had sleepless nights and had a lot of worries and it's ending and there's someone that's more stable is coming and the stability comes with fire for you someone that has fire energy and someone that has water energy yes but as long as there is a little bit of earth and thank god for the virgo here and the taurus gives you stability and gives you endurance for the relationship to be endurance now don't forget there are people that you're dealing with on a, on a on a daily basis, who are your family? So the um, the water energy, the, the Scorpio could be your family, the Cancer could be your family, uh, the Taurus could be your family, the Virgo could be your family. But what I'm saying is that what I'm seeing um, where the chemistry begins and you are starting with someone, I feel like it could be someone that's fire like yourself with Earth as in Virgo or Taurus. I feel like it could be Taurus Libra. Taurus Libra is very sensual. Taurus being sensual, Libra being romantic, put that combination and you've got, voila, something magical happening with you and your fire and your sensuality, my dear Sagittarius. If you're dealing with someone that's Sagittarius and Cancer, then you're doing exceptionally well too because water, fire, they go well together, they replenish each other, warm and cool each other, which is absolutely magnificent. Having the Earth there shows me there is endurance coming in your life, in your relationships. Someone of Earth energy is entering, they might have strong fire in them because fire was the one that was shown the strongest. And again, I will say fire is you, Sagittarius, or Leo.
very strong Leo, very nurturing Leo and Aries. So I feel like fire energy is entering your life with a little bit of earth in them and that's going to give you endurance. You are dealing with a lot of people and the main ones are water energy in your life, Cancer being number one. You're dealing with Cancer on a high scale, you're dealing with Libra on a high scale also and you're dealing with air energies as family or people that are around you. This is what I've uh, worked out here for you. I do feel like there is fire, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo entering your life or Taurus. Let me know which one it is. Give me a feedback so I can understand what's going on. I look forward to doing your next reading. Please give me a thumbs up. Please see the videos all the way to the end in support of me and don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Just a click it supports me big time also all my love all my light or everything i have um with all my blessings always namaste